Hi everyone, good evening to you from wherever you are. I want to do a quick uh, check of Jesus' statements in the Bible. Uh, it seems that a lot of Christians are acting contrary to what Jesus asked them to do. So I will be reading out every portion Jesus Christ speaks in the Bible which in this is King James Version, which um, they, they write Jesus' statement in red. You know, so I'll be reading it out and, you know, I'll be reading it out and I'll be telling you what I understand by the passage. You know, so uh, Jesus starts speaking from the book of Matthew chapter 1, verse 15. He says, Suffer it. To be so now, for thus is becoming us to fulfill all righteousness. It's become, it's become us to fulfill all righteousness. So, in Matthew chapter 4, verse 4, Jesus said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Most people will say Jesus Christ is referencing himself as God with that statement. That is not so. Jesus Christ is referring to God who sent him that every word that cometh out of his mouth, which, is, which are in the book, in the Ten Commandments, in the Ten Commandments, every word, because those things in that Ten Commandments was the word of God and those that Moses wrote down. Those are the word of God, not that he was re re referring to himself. Mm -mm. So he speaks again, Jesus speaks again in Matthew chapter 4, verse 7. He said, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Jesus wasn't talking to himself that he, he there is tempting him as God. He was Jesus was telling Satan that do not tell because Satan was just Satan was telling Jesus what God said and he wanted to tempt Jesus with those words. He now Jesus is not telling him that do not tempt that word of God that God has said do not tempt it. That's what Jesus was telling Satan that do not tempt that statement you utter that God says that I should jump, then he will send his angel to guide me, that do not tempt that word of God, not him. So Jesus speaks again in Matthew chapter 4, verse 10. He said, Get thee and Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him alone shalt thou serve. Jesus wasn't talking to himself. He wasn't talking to himself, saying he is the God, that Satan must worship him. He is saying that, uh, he, because Satan was giving him every picture, that Jesus Christ should bow to him, and he would give him everything in the world. He now said that uh, only God you should worship. Only God you should worship. Not any other man, not any other idol, not any other thing. Even your car, your wife, your anything, no, don't worship them. Only God you should worship. Jesus speaks again in um, that Matthew chapter 4, verse 17. He said, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Then Jesus Christ began to preach about that people should repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, that the kingdom that is above is at hand. Jesus Christ wasn't talking to you as if he is a God. He is referring to God whenever he say, do not tempt the Lord thy God. He wasn't talking to himself. He was talking to that God beyond. Let me tell you this, and I want you to write it down. Do not equate God to anything. Do not equate God to anything. Do not equate God to anything. 
God is beyond and above every other thing that you can ever think of. What, why did God send Jesus Christ to the world? To teach us the way to God. This is because the people of Israel, they want to see the God they serve. They want to see the God that they bow to in person. Therefore, they began to make God for themselves. Then God now proclaimed Jesus through prophecy that he will come, that the God you want to see, you will see it in him and through him, through his word, character and act, which will show that God to you. Then Jesus came and showed God and when people love that character, that act, and the wonders he performed, they now say that, ah, this is God. And immediately Jesus told them, I am not good, I am not God, only God is good. I'll be bringing more of these passages to you. If you have any comment or any, any, any additional or correction or subtraction, you can comment in the comment box below and I will reply you. Peace be with you.